What's up guys? Another test drive up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And this is a 1973 Chevrolet Caprice. Of course, it's got a matching number 454 under the hood. Looks like power steering, power brakes, AC compressors there. Belt is missing, it's gonna need work. This is more of a project car. You can see the paint is faded. Um, the back window there is not trying to come down. I messed with it for a little while. I think the motor's out in here. They're all power windows. All the rest of the windows worked. And then of course I was talking to them in there and they said the top is really slow. So in this video, I'm gonna leave the top up. We'll go over all the functions and stuff throughout the car, such as the wipers, horn, uh, turn signals, gauges, and everything else. And then I'm gonna be picking out the flaws at the end of the video, which is picking out, you know, rust chips, scratches, whatever the whatever else the car has on it. I do that so you know what you're getting before you get here. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available on all of our cars. Go to maplemotors.com for that. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works? Start it up, get it warm. On the dash there, there's a crack here. Crack in the middle. The carpet. Looks like somebody tried to replace it, but they didn't get it stretched out all the way. The seat on this one. Showing some signs of age. You can see the little spots in it. Same with your door panel. Back seat. Inside of the top here. Again, it'd look a lot better with the top down, but I gotta have multiple people to help. It goes up by itself, it goes down by itself, but it's so slow that it may burn the motor up and I don't want to do that, so I need to help it. Um, but we're not going to put it down throughout this video. Because I'm just by myself here. Looks like they put a wrap around the steering wheel. They didn't do it perfectly either, did they? Try some stuff out. Turn signals. I hear it. Right turn signal. So the bulb is out on the left side there. Windshield wipers. There it goes. A little delayed response there. Radio. We'll give it a second. Blower motor. Blower motor does work and is blowing pretty hard through the vents. Horn, did you place your bets? Does work. Showing 24,000 miles on the dash. It's hard to stand by it in a 73 model. Let's hit the road and see what else we can find. I went to put my seat belt on and they're not bolted down. I pulled them right out of there. So they're in here, but they're not bolted down. Um, this one on the passenger side is. <laughs> So that'll have to be installed. All right, in reverse. Does work. Neutral dry. Here we go. Definitely need to get some gas. So we'll run up to the gas station real quick. This is the first time I've driven this as well. Good shift. Real smooth going down the road. As soon as I turn, it's turning, the steering's tight, straight as an arrow. Kick down is hooked up. Top's got a little bit of a vibration there. It's still hooked up. It's not gonna come up. A little bit of a vibration. Getting in our brakes. Running and driving, this thing's very smooth. Speedometer seems correct. Everything feels tight going down the road. Throttle's responsive, kick down so up, steering's straight, steering's tight, brakes feel good. And looking on the dash there, we've got over a quarter tank, so I guess we actually don't have to stop and get any fuel today. Not in this car, at least. 
because it is working. But we're going to pull over in the parking lot over here, get some outside shots, some undercarriage footage, light it all up with some lights, and then at the end of the video, we'll do picking out the flaws. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started out here. I'll be right back, guys. Heading on back to the lot now. So far so good. I went ahead and did picking out the flaws here in the parking lot. And I'm gonna put that at the end of the video. So stick around for that. floating down the road. It's exactly what this car feels like. Like a boat. Nice and smooth, not a lot of noise, no rattles or shakes. More wind noise than anything because of the convertible top. Nice little speed bump here. Just smooth over it. We're getting ready to go back to the car lot. We're right around the corner from it. I can actually see the sign from here. We're going to do picking out the flaws. Of course, we're at a red light now, so I'm not going to kick rocks and waste time. I'll see you here in a minute. Skipping over to picking out the flaws.
Okay, I'm here to pick out the flaws. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping. MapleMotors.com. Go to the website. Check it out. I do test drives every single day, so you know what you're getting before you get here. Let's get started. Going around the front end. This one's got a lot of chips. A lot of fading. Pitting on the front bumper here. You got some chips right behind it as well. Chrome's pitted. And chips up around the front end. All right, coming down the side. Coming down the side here, this paint job's got a lot of little scratches and chips. I'm not gonna point out every single one of those. I'm gonna look for rust and dents mainly. There's a little dent here. A lot of cracking in the paint too. Bubbles popping up there. Dent back here in the bumper. Also got a light dent right here. Little chips there. Marks there on the side. Touch on marks. Blemishes on top. The front windshield. It's like wax left on the back there. Chips. Bunch of blotchy, hazy spots on the paint. Yeah, the top's in good shape. And back window still looks nice and clear, too. Coming up on the rear. Back bumper's got a lot of little pitting. there in the corner cracks around that seal trunk lid Down in the trunk. Got some patches there. Surface truss there. On the back here, you can see it popping up. Coming down with the trunk lid. Keys are in the ignition. And it should. bubbles on the trunk itself chips coming down this side little bubbles in the back here Like a dent right here. Ding right here on the trim. Chips. 
chips on the door. There, right there. Also here. There's one here too. Chips. Hazy in the middle there. Front windshield. Looks decent, little chips there in the middle. Chips here. up over the top let's go ahead and check out the interior now well yellowed on the door panel Weather stripping's kind of missing there. Where the weather stripping's missing here, he's got some rust popping up coming through. A little bit of rubber left there, too. Edge of that seat's also got some little spots, patches. around in the back here set that top And start her back up. Older glass on your rearview mirror. Looks like an old mirror used to be there, but somebody took it out. Door's sticky there. The fan shroud's shaking at the bottom. down with the hood gotta wiggle it a little bit she cut down guys I appreciate you watching I'm gonna head on back to the lot you got little spots on the hood too okay pick out another ride today we got a lot of rain coming in tomorrow I won't be able to get too much done so I'm gonna try to get a lot done today that being said detailed pictures finance and shipping maplemotors.com and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video